A few days ago, I made a video about Dolly 3 becoming a part of ChatGPT, and at that time, I discovered Adobe Firefly, and it seriously blew my mind. Can it really be the best AI image generator? So, let's clash three giants, Dolly, Firefly, and Midjourney. The first request will be to generate a transparent crystal chandelier eliminated from within, casting intricate shadows and a textured wall. Firefly will be the first one to maze us, hopefully. I will input the prompt and wait for it to do its work. Bam, 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 and it's done. And I can instantly see how good the image looks, especially the first two images. Adobe seems to really follow my instructions. The chandelier is really crystal and casts intricate shadows, but following the instructions is not the best part about this AI. Also, on the right, there is a settings menu where I can customize the output. I can change the model or aspect ratio. I will set mine to portrait. There, I also can choose the type of content that I want to get, photo or art. I can also ramp up visual intensity making images even closer to the prompt. I'm not sure that changing the visual intensity helps in any way, but at least it's there. Another interesting part about Adobe Firefly is its effects. This is the only AI that offers deeper customization of results done in a simple and intuitive way. To change the visual look of the images, all I have to do is choose the effects I like. I, for example, want to see the bokeh effect in 3D. Adobe also allows me to choose color tone, lighting, and composition. I want the prevalent color to be golden and lighting as golden hour. In the composition section, there are a ton of options to choose from, such as close-ups, shallow depth of field, wide angle, and so on, and this is still not everything can do. With Adobe Firefly, I can manually choose the aperture of the photo, shutter speed, and field of view. This basically allows you to emulate any camera lens available, given a huge creative freedom. In advanced settings, I can give a negative prompt and to describe elements I don't want to see. Here is how the images look with all the applied effects. I think they all look absolutely gorgeous. I like the style and aesthetic, the colors are really good and the bokeh effect looks super nice and natural. Using Dolly is much easier. In ChatGPT, I just need to switch to Dolly 3 and input my prompt in an input field. Then Dolly takes a few seconds to think and gives four images. Just look at them. This chandelier looks absolutely photorealistic, like it is just a photo and not a generated image. This is simply incredible, very unexpected results. Such a difference in results is caused by the way these AIs were learning. Adobe used only stock images and it usually causes some parts of the image to look supernatural and some unnatural. Dolly was trained in everything they could get their hands on and most of the time the results are super good. But we still have to see how Mid Journey performs. Right now I will ask Dolly to change images to portrait orientation, golden hour, and apply bokeh effect. Just look at these results. The first image looks like a photograph. The wall has a ton of realistic texture and each individual piece of a chandelier looks like a real crystal. Also, for each photo, I can copy the prompt that AI has created for it, allowing me to easily replicate the same photo over and over again or just learn how prompts are written. As for the mid journey, it is far less easy to use than the other two. For each image, I need to write a custom prompt starting with imagine, which is not really convenient. And as you can see, the results are not ideal. They are too artistic, too unrealistic. And even if I ask it to be more photorealistic, the images still look unnatural. Consequently, when I add golden hour and the bokeh effect, the images look even less realistic. I think my journey is more suited for artistic things and not realistic. It is good at creating artwork and not photos. Now let's take a quick break and talk about this video sponsor, Riverside. Riverside is the perfect service for everyone who wants to start a podcast but doesn't want to bother with editing, requesting footage, and so on. Riverside simplifies everything. You create a studio, send links to people, and start recording from your side. Setting up is easy. Click New Studio, name it, choose between recording audio and video, and select the language for transcription among dozens of supported ones. The interface looks like a typical meeting app but with a few key differences. A big red record button starts a proper recording with separate tracks for video and audio of each participant. You can also select your microphone and camera that you want to use, which is super handy. Riverside supports up to 4K webcam footage, which automatically uploads to the cloud. Riverside offers additional features like a teleprompter script only visible to the host, a chat feature, and a media tab with sound effects like clapping. After recording, you can edit everything in Riverside too. You can enable or disable audio tracks, change speaker layout, Riverside also creates an accurate transcript that you can edit if needed. 
The same transcript can be used for creating captions directly from the editing page. And if needed, transcripts can be downloaded as a text file or SRT format or simply copied. Export options are also flexible. You can export in up to 4K resolution and include features like audio normalization and background noise removal. You can even export projects directly to Adobe Premiere. A unique feature is generating magic clips, which uses AI to compile the most interesting parts of a podcast. This makes creating content for TikTok, YouTube Shorts, or Instagram Reels incredibly quick. In summary, Riverside makes podcast and interview creation straightforward and efficient. Use the promo code AIMaster to get Riverside with 15% discount on a personal plan. And now let's get back to the video. How does uh, Dolly perform? Let's try the second prompt and see whether the dynamics change. Now I want to see an outdoor bazaar at twilight where each vendor's stall has unique items and all the people have detailed faces and clothing. I will also set the aspect ratio to widescreen and you know what? These images from Firefly look absolutely fantastic. That is exactly what I was hoping to get. It is a relatively close-up shot of a small and narrow street with shops and each stall indeed has different items. The people and their clothes look quite realistic if you don't pay enough attention and in the last photo it just nailed the face. Come on, it's basically a photograph at this point. Now let's turn on the hyper-realistic effect. Add the dramatic lighting and see what we get. These results are a bit less photorealistic, but I do like the style. This time it wasn't able to create a nice face as it did before, and so the woman looks a bit strange. Hope I won't get nightmares after this. For the dolly, I will input the same prompt and already ask it to do it in a widescreen. And the results it gives are really interesting. I was expecting to get something like from Firefly, but these images are something different. They're not really far from my request and some stalls have identical Thanks, but I like the artwork and unusual twist and here are the same images but hyper realistic with dramatic lighting. I think these ones are probably the best versions of these images we can get. But let's take it even further and ask for close up shots. Now this is properly amazing. You know, I've been playing with AI generators for a while now and this seriously impresses me. This looks almost like a photo with a filter on top of it, especially this one with a lot of people in it. If someone said to me that it was a photo, and not the AI generated image, I would have believed it straight away. Even the individual hairs on people's heads are visible. This is absolutely mental. And how about the journey? Well, its results are again, super artistic. It decided that Bazaar should be Arabian and really sticks to this style. However, despite me not really liking the results from Midjourney journey so far, it still has a few features that I like. Under each generated image, there are buttons and they either upscale the photo or generate the alternative version of it. And this upscaling is seriously good. After the image is upscaled, I can create variations of it or change individual parts of the image. Let's say I want to change the stall assortment to spices. I just select the area of the image and write a prompt. Then it gives me four versions to choose from. All that's left to do is just upscale the one I like the most. The third prompt will be artistic, so Midjourney should be able to redeem itself. I wanna see a steampunk cityscape with moving gears, flying airships, and diverse characters interacting in the foreground. Firefly's results are really stylish, but upon a closer inspection, they lack a bit of clarity. Let's add a couple more effects. I'm feeling digital art, art nouveau, cinematic, surreal lighting, and toned image. These results look a bit better, but not exactly what I'm looking for. How about Dolly? I think these images are miles better in terms of following the prompt. I cannot say they look exactly like steampunk, but they definitely are gears and airships. Let's ask to make everything more photorealistic, add surreal lighting, 4 to 3 aspect ratio and wide angle. And these images look even better. So far, Dolly shows the best results. The same prompt in Midjourney yields quite unusual results. Midjourney decided to make an emphasis on airships instead of the city and people. With some additional tweaking, the most interesting and stylish photo looks like this. I cannot say that I'm a fan of these results, but in terms of preserving the steampunk aesthetic, Midjourney definitely did the best job. From what I see, Dolly 3 creates by far the the most accurate images and follows instructions the closest. And it is really easy to use if you are an inexperienced user. All you have to do is just chat with it and tell it what you want to see. Mid 
me is by far the worst one. It can create stunning images. However, the usability is terrible. Write in a separate prompt for each image and each uh, change is tiring and time consuming. You really have to be smart about it. Adobe Firefly seems like the perfect balance. It does not require knowledge like Midjourney, but operates in a different level than Dolly. And its effects and presets make it more versatile than other AI generators. So if you want a bit more control over the results, Firefly is your guy. But wait, there is a hidden secret about it, because generating images is not the only thing it can do. Firefly can also edit your images and change parts of it. To do this on the main page, you have to click Generate a Fill. Then it is as simple as uploading the picture, selecting the areas you want to change, and typing in what you want. I can give myself a unicorn horn or headphones or sunglasses. However, I see that it has trouble with logos, text, and giving me strong muscles somehow. And you know, I was really hoping for the last one to work since it would be much easier than going to the gym. Well, aside from that, it is a very good and simple to use feature. It's not as advanced as the one in Photoshop, but more than enough for the majority of people and simple edits. And there are also text styles, AKA custom fonts. Creating the font is super easy. You just type in the text that you want and enter the prompt described in the style. Then you just uh, let AI do the job. On the right in the menu, I can choose the shape and how it follows it, font, background, color, and choose any sample style. I think it is a very interesting way to spice your post and social media with uh, interest in fonts. Overall, I'd say that Adobe Firefly might not be the best AI to generate images, but it is one of the easiest to use and very convenient in its results. Here, you don't even need to type that much stuff as you have with Dolly 3. You can simply choose from the menu what you want to get and all those options are already optimized, so you can be sure the results will look great. Great AI, can't wait to see what will get added in the future updates. And thank you guys for watching watching and see you in the next one.